Hi hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about how you can master any programming language as fast as possible. And also, I will be sharing the 7 best tips that many programmers are using not only for learning, but also learning it more effectively and fastly. This is kind of video I wish I had when I started programming. So, let's get into it. If you are learning a new programming language as a beginner or having with some programming experience, first of all, you need to understand why you have chosen this programming language and what outcome you are expecting from this programming language. It is very important to know what outcome you are expecting from this programming language, like getting a job in your favorite company or becoming a freelancer or starting your own company by building an app or something else. There are different domains like app development, web development, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning and a lot more. If you are learning C++ for becoming an Android developer that might not be the correct option for you. You may need to switch to Java or Kotlin. Likewise, figuring out why you have chosen this programming language helps you to keep your goals in mind and eventually they become the driving force to learn more and not to give up at any instant. Second tip of mine is how you actually learn the programming language. If you are a more visual person then learning through the video based tutorial might help you to learn better but there is a drawback in this way of learning we can't say it has a drawback but many people are falling into the rabbit hole of learning the tutorials one after other one after other without actually implementing them suppose if a person is preparing for army recruitment if that person keep on watching the tutorials like how to run how to do push-ups how to do pull-ups without actually implementing in the real scenarios he will not get results in his body when he goes to the recruitment he will definitely end up kicking out of the recruitment at first or second out itself so you need to practice what you have learned before jumping into the next video okay if you are in those who love to read and write you may go through the official documentation of respective programming language or learning through a book and practicing the course that's available in that respective documentation or books might give you good results my advice is to learn through both the methods like if you spend some good time with 50% learning with video based tutorials and 50% learning through book by experimenting these things on you you may understand what proportions you are more comfortable with and how faster you are learning with these methods all right here comes the third tip and also most important tip how to start any programming language there are many programming languages like c c++ java python dart kotlin and also many other the process of learning those programming languages is same first of all you need to understand what are the fundamentals of the programming language understanding the fundamentals of the programming language helps you to set a really strong foundation for you to learn the advanced topics more easily some people will become overwhelmed and drive crazy into the projects and they leave the fundamentals fundamentals are just like the basement of the building if your basement of the building is very weak then the building will definitely collapse this is how many people will quit before they even start so let's see some fundamentals number one we have data type here we learn different types of the data types like integer float double and how they actually work secondly we have variables variables are nothing but a box to store the data and also having some address to the box thirdly we have operators they help us for addition subtraction comparison and also assignment operations and the fourth fundamental concept is control statements. It uses conditional statements to create the order in which your code is executed. Examples of the control statements are if else statements, looping statements, stitch cases. We have number 5 functions. Functions are the reusable code blocks that performs a specific action when called. Finally, we have loops. And this is used for execution of the code block several times within a condition. If you are overwhelmed by these fundamentals of the programming language, then you can spend 2-3 to three hours on any YouTube tutorial or going through an article in Medium or any other platform. You can find a video on our channel in the playlist called Mastering Programming Languages. I am 100% sure that video will clear all of your fundamentals in less than 3 hours. Alright, after learning these fundamentals, you will come to a point where you can write some basic scripts for the program. Now, you are armed with shields and some bullets for the battle of advanced topics. Now you need to learn the object oriented programming. This is way of structuring your code in a simpler way. If you are already having some programming experience, you can master the loops concepts by following a tutorial or an article. But if this is your first time learning about loops concepts, that is object oriented programming, take some time understanding how class works, how to create an instance variable, how methods work, and how inheritance works. No need to overwhelm by these concepts. They are easy if you compare the class and objects with the real world entities. Once you understand the fundamentals and the loops concepts, you can advance in not only one language, you can advance in any language in future. So 
let's move on to the fourth tip of the day learning how data structures and algorithms work if you want to learn the programming language more deeply or you want to get a job then you need to learn the data structures and algorithms they will increase your problem solving skills you can learn the data structures like stacks queues linked list trees and you need to understand where they are used and how efficient they are you can practice them in the platforms like code chef hacker rank and lead code understanding the data structures and algorithm where to use them and how to use them helps you to crack many coding interviews like amazon facebook google twitter and many other you don't need to learn all the data structures and algorithms at one go you can practice an hour to two hours per day and continuously practicing them and uh, participating in the coding contest helps you to learn better with every contest you will learn something new and uh, you will understand what data structure is used here and you can follow some creators code you can understand how they are used and how they will be used learning these things helps you to become a good problem solver problem solving is one of the skill that many companies will see you in the interview all right here comes the fifth tip thinking like a programmer thinking like a programmer is very important if you run into problem don't ask someone immediately you need to break down the problem into simpler parts and understand what is happening there and find the solution by yourself if you don't understand the problem you can google for solution or you can search the problem in the stack overflow website stack overflow website is the place where many programmers will get most of their answers you can join a student community in your college or if you don't have some student community in your college you can join online communities joining a student communities helps you to learn better and understand the what competition is going on around you form a love with problem solving skill there is no shortcut method or fast track method in becoming a good problem solver it will come by experience you need to run into problems you need to understand what is happening there you need to break down into that one this is how many programmers will think all right let's move on to the sixth tip sharing your knowledge Sharing your knowledge helps you to build a good community around you. You can share your knowledge in many ways. Like you can create a Instagram group and post your everyday learning or you can start writing blogs on various platforms like Medium, Hashnode or DailyDev. And also you can share your demo project in LinkedIn such that there might be a recruiter who may get interest in your skills and may offer you a interview letter. Sharing your knowledge is nothing but giving value to the community. It helps you not only in the professional way but also in the personal way. Here comes the last tip. contribution to open source it's never too early or too late to contribute to open source projects at starting you may feel like a beginner eventually after spending a month to two months you will find yourself comfortable with the github workflow and contribution to open source projects you can participate in the various programs like outreach google summer of code girl script summer of code and also you can get a stipend around $3000 in google summer of code $2000 in outreach and various cash prizes swags and trips in girl script summer of code their main objective is to inspire the young developers by contributing to the open source development and helps them to become a better developer by contribution to open source projects okay guys if you got any value out of this video please drop a like and comment down what type of videos you want me to make you can support this channel by following the links in the description that's it for now i will see you in the next video until then keep hustling and be safe